Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tech Talk. If you haven't been with us, I'm Andy. Today we're gonna to talk about wheels, backspacing versus offset, and how that correlates to lift kits by Zone Off-Road. All right, so backspacing versus offset. This is a call that we take all the time, wanting to know what backspacing or what offset they need for a specific vehicle for a specific lift. That's gonna vary depending on the application, depending on whether we're doing replacement steering knuckles, whether we're just doing upper control arms, all of that stuff is gonna play a factor. So we're really gonna be looking at how to measure backspacing and why we use backspacing as a measurement and not offset. All right, so in front of me here, I've got a stock Jeep wheel. And what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna show you how to measure backspacing. It's very simple and this is why we here at Zone use backspacing as measurements and specifications for all of our tire and wheel fitment combinations. So you're simply gonna lay the wheel face down on a workbench or a flat surface. You're going to measure from the wheel mounting surface out to the outside lip of the wheel. Now to do that, we're gonna just use a flat edge, straight edge here, and we're gonna measure straight down right to the hub surface. Now this one measures right at six inches of backspacing. Majority of stock wheels are gonna be at six inches of backspacing or a bit more. Now they're also a very narrow wheel, generally seven to eight inches wide. So when you get into larger wheels, into the nine, 10 inch, and even 12 inch wide wheels, that backspacing is gonna change depending on how that wheel's built. Now again, most stock wheels are over six inches of backspacing, so a question we get a lot of times is why can't I run my stock wheels? Well, that backspacing is the reason because in here is where your brake rotor, your steering knuckle, your tie rod, all of that has to fit in this wheel opening. And the deeper that this is, the more stuff is tucked in here. And what you run into is a problem on the front when you're turning that the wheel is gonna get into a tie rod or get into an upper control arm or something along that. So we really need to decrease that backspacing to move that wheel out away from those suspension components more. Okay, so the other aspect here is in backspacing or offset is the center line of the wheel. Now, if you can imagine your brake rotor here, you're looking at this as a, a half view from the front of the vehicle. And the more backspacing you have, the deeper this is gonna sit into the vehicle, into the wheel well. The less backspacing, the farther out it's gonna be from the vehicle and stick out farther. So most generally, you've got a stock wheel that's gonna sit very flush with the outside edge of the tire. You go to less back spacing, and that's gonna move it out. Again, more back spacing, like a stock wheel, is gonna keep it tucked in farther. All right, so another measurement that you're gonna hear a lot about out there is offset. Offset is a way more complicated and unnecessary measurement. I'll go over it real quick, but here at Zone we use back spacing because it's very simple, and back spacing's for trucks. Offset's for cars, so. Offset takes the overall width of the wheel, finds the center line, and then you have to measure the hub face and figure out if that is offset positively or negatively compared to the center line of the wheel. Gets more complicated when you get into overall wheel widths of seven inches up to 10, 12 inches, things like that, where backspacing is a very simple hub face to the back of the wheel lip, you're done. You don't have to question it. So that's why we use backspacing, just because it is so simple, it's easy to understand, it's easy to measure. So that's pretty much gonna cover the very basics of measuring wheel backspacing and what's required for certain vehicles. Now, if you're questioning what's required for your vehicle or your lift kit that you're looking to purchase, go to the website, check on the lift kit itself. If you go and check out the lift kit on the left-hand side of the screen, you're gonna find where we have wheel and tire fitment combination with a lot of other specs for that kit. That's where you're gonna find the specific information for your vehicle with the lift kit that you're looking to purchase. Till next time, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and shoot us a message if you got anything that you wanna see us talk about or you got questions about anything, tech-zone at ridefox.com or any of our social media platforms.